Hello, Tom. I saw uh, Paul Robinette's video about his first invention, and I happen to have uh, seen his video when he did it originally, when he talked about that invention, and uh, I enjoyed that video extremely. I like to listen to things like that, and, uh, and Paul is uh, eloquent when he talks about his passion for inventions, and you can tell that he lives uh, what he believes. But uh, I wanted to respond to that video, but I am not an inventor. But when I saw your video, I thought, well, this will give me an opportunity to respond. So I'm going to respond to your video and tell you it's a little bit about empowerment. I had mentioned in one of my other videos about empowerment when I rented the jet. But this might uh, entice someone who is uh, starting to work for a large company. And the company, you know the company that I work for, and I'd rather not mention their name because when I worked there, I worked in a, some s sensitive uh, jobs. But I'm going to tell you how I rose in that company, and it's almost like uh, Paul uh, finding a goal and going toward that goal, although I didn't invent anything. I went to work in the mailroom in this company pushing a mail cart. It was an entry-level position, and I would have taken a job as a janitor just to get in the door. So I was pushing a mail cart, and I don't know how many hundred people we had working in the building at the time, but I got to know everybody by first and last name because in the morning when the mail would come, I would sort the mail, put it in the cart, and start to deliver it. So in a couple of months, I knew practically everybody from the CEO right down to uh, the least person in the organization by first and last name. And when I would see them in the hallway, I would always speak their name. It even got to the point to where if one of the managers was trying to find one of his uh, engineers, he would come up to me and he'd say, and he'd say their name. He said, have you seen, and I'd, and I always remembered where everybody was at in the building. And I said, I would say, yeah, I just saw him. He's down in so-and-so's office, and they were sitting in there talking. And he'd say, well, thanks, and go on his way. We had a Christmas party, and if you had been at the Christmas party, you wouldn't have thought that I was a mail clerk. You would have probably thought I was somebody in the company because I knew everybody's first and last name and was conversing with everybody at the Christmas party, calling them by their names. A few months after that Christmas party, they had closed one of the offices, and they came into the mailroom, and there was three of us, and they said, we're sorry, but we're going to have to lay you off because we've got these people coming in, and, and we've got to provide a job for them. And I was devastated because I loved the company and I knew that I could progress there. So I had just a few days left on the two-week notice and I was in the elevator one day and one of the top managers that managed one of the uh, peripheral uh, projects, uh, I spoke to him, called him by name and he said, how's everything going? And I said, well, I said, I've only got a couple, three days to go with the company because I've been laid off. And he said, laid off. And I told him the story, and he said, you come in Monday. He said, you go down to personnel, and you tell them you're coming to work for me on Monday. So I did, and the job that I did, I would come in early, and I'd work just as hard as I could work to uh, complete the task that I had for the day, and I would spend the rest of the day studying and uh, I know that I probably was doing it on my own, but, uh, but I wanted to gain as much knowledge as I could. And the manager caught me doing it. And he said, what are you doing? And I said, I'm studying. He said, uh, well, do you have enough literature to study what you're studying? Because he knew what I was doing. And I said, well, there's this book or that book I want. He said, I tell you. He said, you go down in the company library and you tell them that any book that you want, they're to order it for you and put it 
uh, charge it to my project. I said, yes, sir. So I studied. I'd always get my work done, but I would work real hard to get it done, which would give me two or three hours at the end of the day to study. Well, to make a long story short, uh, I went to a coffee clutch for the, uh, that the CEO of the company held, and he wasn't primarily talking to me, but he was talking to some of the engineers, and he said, you know, if you guys want to move up in this company, what you need to do is you need to look around, and if you find somebody in this company that you really and truly respect, you need to go up to that person and say, well, here's what I'm trying to do. Could I adopt you as an, a mentor and, uh, and use that person to gain knowledge to move up in the company? And I thought, what a fantastic idea. And there was this person that worked in the automated technology department that I knew was one of the top individuals because I had heard so many people come up to this person and ask them questions, and they instantly had what I considered was the correct answer. So shortly after that coffee clutch, I saw that person in the hallway, and I said, excuse, I called them by name because I knew their name. And by that time, most of the managers had uh, started to remember my name because I knew their name. And so they spoke my name, and I said, uh, you know, I said, this is what I'm trying to do, uh, and I need a mentor. Would you be my mentor? And they said, well, of, of course, you know, I'd be glad to. So what I would do is I would study, and I didn't want to use a lot of their valuable time, so when I went to them to ask them a question until I could move a little farther along in my knowledge, I'd almost have the, the, the answer because I'd figured it out. But uh, if I got between a rock and a hard place, I would go to them, and I could instantly understand what they were trying to tell me, and then I could move on. But to make a long story short, this person was in the automated technology department, I went to work for the company, working in the mail room, pushing the mail cart, learned everybody's first and last name, got laid off. They knew me, knew I was really working to progress in the company. And I started out as a mail clerk. And when I retired from that company, I was a systems programmer. And I'm listed in the retirement uh, portion of the company now as a systems analyst. And I did it all at the company. I came When I came in the company, I had no clue as to what I wanted to do with that company. I had no knowledge, and I acquired, I acquired all the knowledge at that company. And that company uh, just went out of their way to uh, help me because they knew that I was trying to to improve my lot in life. So anyway, that's the response to your video, Tom. Uh, I know it's a little long, but uh, I know that this is something that kind of coincides with your expertise and your, your uh, uh, field of uh, endeavors. So I hope somebody can get something out of that. And, uh, well, that's enough. Thank you very much, Tom. See you. Bye-bye. Have a good day, sir.